Hi everyone, I finished day 26 today, which is functional components one. And the things that we covered were introductory topics to React, what React is, the virtual DOM, and problems that React actually solved and why it actually came into, um, into being in the first place. And we learned how to make functional components, how to target the right div, um, how to call from the React DOM, and using all those different uh, things that you need to import. One of the things that we had to learn was just to use plain React in an HTML file. So we imported React and React DOM using the, the link tag in the header, no, in the script tag, I believe. And also learning to pull in Babel as well to convert that JSX that uh, React is so, much, so famous for. And the project today was pretty much making a uh, social card or a looks like a Twitter post in my opinion and it was wasn't too bad I've used react before so I had a little bit of experience um, I cannot imagine what it'd be like to make a um, a responsive one though that would definitely be a lot harder but it went well overall and I really enjoyed this introduction to react and we also had a new um, instructor the, the curriculum on the training kit that we had was another instructor and then uh, this new instructor just came in. So there's a little bit of a growing pain right now, but I'm sure we'll get by it and I'm just going to try my best just to review all this React and try to pick up new things as we're going through. Alright, day 27. Today we covered Functional Components 2 about React and we learned about how to work with props mainly passing props from a parent to the child and also for our homework today we had to make a uh, a calculator uh, UI so that wasn't too difficult I thought it would be more since uh, I have done the uh, free code camp project uh, making the calculator in the past and that took a little bit of time for me to learn how to like line everything up and everything but today it went through very smoothly and that's mainly what we covered today, just using props and how to um, separate different components out into different files and then how to import and export them together as well. So it was a really good day and I'm really excited to learn more about React. Definitely the, the patterns and uh, styled components, I've used that before and it's great. So I'm very excited coming up. Today was day 28 and we worked on class components one, which is basically instead of writing functional components, we're now writing class components and it has added benefits such as it has its own constructor and it has its own methods as well as a state. So a lot of different things to use with class. And we also learned how to iterate over a list of data um, using dot map or you can use dot filter if you wanted to um, lots of cool things with it and for the homework today we worked on a project that was a to-do list and we basically changed the items in the to-do list it has a, a name it has an ID and it has a, a complete um, property as well and it was very easy for me since I've done it before um, I haven't done it in React, but it wasn't too hard to pick up. And next, I'm working on getting some of the features in, such as uh, tasks being completed and uh, rendering that out and things like that. But it was overall a very good day, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. So today is day 29 of Lambda School, and we finished um, Class Components Part 2. Basically, we were passing things from state down all the way to the components. For the most part, the same as yesterday. Um, just finishing up the features on the MVP. Uh, the MVP today was basically adding a clear completed button as well as a uh, com like a task completed where you would strike through the text. And I was able to finish that yesterday already, so everything was good. Something I tried new today was to write uh, code to 
have a search function, but I wasn't able to get it working yet. Everything else was okay. I added style to it and uh, it looks pretty good. So I'll show you a little bit of the um, app here so you guys can see it. And overall, uh, this this week has been okay. Um, I understood most of the concepts already. I think I'm trying to get a lot deeper. So I was looking at more of the documents provided in the training kit. Training kit is something that you have. Um, it's like a manual or a, a textbook that you can go through and from the previous instructor Ryan Hamlin it's very detailed and there's a lot of uh, material there for you to go over lots of videos and text uh, if you'd like to read that and other than that uh, tomorrow's a sprint challenge and we have a special thing tomorrow where we have um, uh, a very long day because we have Monday as Labor Day so it's a it's a holiday we don't have class so basically what they try to do is to cram everything together into Friday so that you can um, get everything done um, so that we don't have to make up class or have class on Saturday or something like that so we're gonna do that and then on after so after the sprint challenge tomorrow we're gonna jump straight into Monday's material kind of teach it on your own and then on Tuesdays when we come back to class then they'll actually um, do just a one-hour review session so that's something a little bit different this week but uh, everything's been pretty good um, I'm very excited about React and to jump into the stuff next week as well, Intermediate React, which includes some of the tooling and uh, JavaScript and JS, or CSS and JS and some other stuff too, so it's really cool. So today was the sprint challenge about working on a React app and just rendering out Star Wars um, API data. It was pretty fun and it was pretty open-ended, we just had to render things and didn't have to make any uh, click handlers or methods like that so it wasn't too complicated however for one of the stretch goals i was able to implement a pagination uh, option and it was it wasn't too difficult to make um, i just reasoned it out and it, it seemed to work so i'm pretty happy about that other than that i'm very happy um, that this week is ending i'm actually headed back to the states tomorrow so I'm gonna be sad to leave here in mexico but uh, it's been a good run here uh, definitely great internet here. The speeds has been amazing. I think somewhere between 30 to 70 megabytes from the cafes and to my homes and things like that. But hope you guys are having a good um, summer so far. And happy Labor Day to you guys. Um, if uh, since I don't have class on Monday. Yeah.